hair girls and want to pull the hair with the band. And then what we're doing with the band here, a lot of people ask, is this is eliminating uses of the trap as much. So her medial delt is doing a lot more of the work. So this normal weight she used, it makes it a little bit more challenging. And our sole purpose here is just to get a little bit of blood, let that NO3 drive kick into the shoulder, and pre-exhaust just pump up the muscle group that we're targeting today. Biggest decision of a person's life nowadays. What is your social media screen name going to be? I can't wait to uh, raise my son and have him pick. How was the game yesterday? It was so good. Yeah? yeah? I know, I was there. I was like, man, I should have just got tickets. I found some tickets, but we were watching from a little hole in the wall spot. Over pizza. First pizza I had in like a year. Oh, cookie ice cream. It was really good. So this this is light. This is only like a 45 pound bar, but with the chains, we've got about 40 pounds on each side at the peak. Take your time way down. Almost super slow. Push up, boom, until locked out. I feel like this is gonna be a you can't do that, so I'm just gonna make you look like an idiot. <laughs> do use chain mm -hmm. I, I get really sore so what we're gonna do to re reduce the resistance is bring the chain down let's just bring it down to the lowest one yeah. okay so that way less weight as you press up it's gonna get harder and harder mm -hmm. so let's try that take two I'll put that in there mm -hmm. keep it real raw <laughs> you know yeah keep it like you know for her first time using chains all right, feet, not feet squared away. That's Deep breath in. Up. <laughs> Down slow. Up. There we go. Let's rack it. Okay. So I know it'll get a little bit stronger if you keep <laughs> your elbows tucked. Okay. Okay. So, what? One thing. So now that you're pro, you need those pro shoulders, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was there too. When I went pro, I knew I needed it. It's, that's your presence, that's your wit, that's yeah. your, you know, they don't, girls don't think I need to be big, but you do need to have a, a good yeah. set of shoulders to make your waist appear thinner. Mm -hmm. So what I can recommend is tucking the elbows in. Yeah. You, you're pressing out here, and you're gauging um, the shoulders in a way that they'll never get as big and strong and capped okay. as possible. Mm -hmm. So how you do that is just tuck your shoulders in like this. Instead of letting them flare out, we're gonna tuck them in and press up like this. Keep your elbows tucked the whole time. It's gonna you're gonna feel weaker. Yes. It's okay. <laughs> but <laughs> your shoulders are gonna grow. So yeah. uh -huh. we're going That's to we need. 
Yeah. We're gonna take the chains off. Okay. Let you warm up without the chains. Let's try that. And this time, elbows cup. Yeah, I know. I have an area. Deep breath in. Exhale. Good. You could drive through your legs if you need to. Deep breath in. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Much better. You don't need a lot of reps either. <laughs> One thing I like to promote is even if they're less reps, a lot of girls think, oh, I need to do 15, I need to do a certain number of high reps. Whatever it takes to muscle grow and to shock the muscle into, you know, forming that certain look we want, which, you know, we have to reach for hypertrophy. Mm -hmm. The muscles have to break down and then they reheal and they heal stronger. Yeah. So, Whatever it takes to do that. It, our body doesn't know, oh, it takes 12 reps, it takes 15 reps. Yeah. Oh, I'll bulk and I'll get too big at eight reps. Yeah. Or I'll, 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 you know, it's, I'm always changing it. Mm -hmm. So like today, what I wanna change for you, even though you have been dieting, is heavier weight with quality reps. Yeah. So I'd rather you do six to eight sets of eight mm -hmm. than three sets of 15, okay. you know? Mm -hmm. Just for today, because that's gonna, I think, shock your, yeah. you know, Definitely. yeah. like my camo headband, don't you? What do you think? Do you want to try it again? Even three to five reps. Like, yeah. okay. Yeah, there you go. One more.
huge failure. Get you on there doing it. Just look cute. Just try it. <laughs> or give it all you got and look serious. Either way, let's get some let's get some humor in this thing. My hair up. Yeah, oh you got it. Let's go girl. Get your team four reps. Well, so we, I didn't think she could do those. She proved us wrong. So, UK making making uh must be proud of their strong girls. So that was nice. <laughs> what happened? Oh, just, I mean, we could get handles too. I'm good. I'm about to win. So, your first time taking it through drive, we've only done what? Maybe eight sets? So how, I mean, you look pumped. How do you feel the in through drive with the hide? I feel pumped. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. Feeling good. Um, it's an yeah. enhanced pump, right? <laughs> it's a little bit more than normal, so it mm -hmm. feels like, to me, it feels like we almost like ate a ton of food. I've only had one meal today. Yeah, um, I haven't had carbs so. today, so considering I haven't, I'm feeling... Yeah, kidding. and your shoulders definitely, yeah, you have a good pump, so... The NO3 drive just enhances the workout to me, so when you're, when you're bodybuilding, or any workout, you need to improve nutrient supply, improve blood flow. So if you can get an extra pump and improve blood flow by just taking a little NO3 drive, which is an affordable product, that's probably one of my favorite products to add in people with a low budget, too. Yeah, you can see. A little, a little freaky right now. They going heavy. These are 20 pounds, but 20 pounds of unstable weight. So the unstable weight is much more challenging. And then with the chains, what happens is I go up, it gets heavier and heavier and heavier when each link comes off the ground. So you don't get this normal type of training with just dumbbells.
is so much harder than regular dumbbells. <laughs> Got me wanting those shoes now. They actually look. Oh yeah. They look really good. I like I like the tomboy look for dressy sometimes. I uh, I chose the ones in the glass case. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Let's go. Come on, Amy. Beast it. Let's go. Let's go! Most impressed for 20 reps. So what we're trying to do is enhance her shoulders. We're hitting it all delt heads here. Front, medial, and the short track and hit the rear delts. And with that NO3 drive, picking exercises like this with more time under tension, we're taking advantage of the NO3 drive, getting a better pump. And she nailed it. This is her first time doing this exercise. Most people haven't done it and she's killing it. It's a big feel exercise. You want to keep constant tension, not stopping till you get a good pump. I usually like to go about 20 reps. Wait, what counts as one? You're at about 15. Stand more over. So we got 17. Stand me? Yeah, more in front of like. We'll get it next time. Right. Yeah, yeah. Next Go ahead and rest. When I do these, I like to rest a lot less than normal. Get those rounded delts for the pro level. Come on. Nice, and 20. Excuse me, guys. We got a rest. No, because I like to come up with unique exercises. I love to come up with things that no one else has thought of. You know, the Arnold press. People, mm -hmm. you know, do the Arnold press. And so I was like, you know, I never really cared for the Arnold press. So what, what type of presses do I like? Mm -hmm. So I came out with a, a, a modification of the Arnold press. So going straight up. That's what we did. The post and press. Yeah. Where instead of coming all the way up, you know, and then I wanted to engage the rear delts. Yeah. Because I've always had smaller rear delts. And so I started bodybuilding. Then I finally built them. But so the swap set, I'll just show you. Instead of, instead of describing it, we'll just do it. Swap set. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't say it. Try it. Yeah, try it. Good. Wait, say it? We're fixing. So we're fixing to go get some text mix. Can't wait. <laughs> Where? Here, I'll I do can't. it in UK. Okay. We are fixing to go get some text mix here in Texas. And I just jolly can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> you think <laughs> 
can't. I can't. I can't wait to get some proper. This is what we're doing. We're gonna finish with 20 sets, but we're gonna knock them out with absolutely no rest. Only rest is gonna take from get to machine to machine. We're do two two machines, two exercises. The rear delt, uh, uh -huh. reverse fly, right here. Hit our rear delts, and then we're going to go over here to the machine lateral raise, side raise. Okay. Come on. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm already I'm already Ten messing reps, you up. Two reps? Yeah. No. So we'll go <laughs> we'll go 10 reps, one rep. Then two reps. Shit, I'm, already, I'm doing it again. <laughs> so basically, all these are gonna go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay? And then one, two, three, and we'll go up. So the technical aspect of it, I think it'll improve your endurance, improve your blood flow, and just help you get those shoulders ready for the promo. Okay. Let's go.
reps. In nine. One earned rep. Some people just do reps, you gotta earn reps. <sighs> that one rep was hard. It hurts though, doesn't it? It's like normally you say one rep, but all the reps we've done, that one rep feels so pumped. So, now can I get the 10 reps? We'll see. Come on. There you go, and you finish strong. Last set. You did it. did it. You hung in there. Good job. How you feel? I'm good. My shoulders are pumped. They're burning. Like yeah, they're a little numb. They're warm. Definitely feel the so, blood in there. We'll get some uh, PSI slit protein, mm -hmm. and then what do you want to go eat? You're done competing. You get a cheat meal. Yeah. What, do we, what do we want to get? Uh, I like your idea of Mexican. Yeah, Mexican not Mexican, family. but... No, te Texas Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Tex-Mex.